Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You're watching Furutech. So, I was using the official Pixel OS Android 13 Basic Custom ROM on my OnePlus 9RT as a daily driver from the last three months. I already created a video regarding why this is my favorite custom ROM till the date. You can check its video review link under video description. Finally, great developer Suga Kesha released the new Pixel OS update based on the latest Android version 14 on 12th of November. Actually, developers didn't release the OT update if you are already using this custom ROM, but you can download it from the links given under the video description and can manually flash it. OnePlus also released the Doxon OS 14 Beta 1 updates, but we will check out that in another video. So today in this video, we are going to show you how you can flash this ROM without warping your data. We will check out what new changes new update offers with the all the new goodies of Android 14. ROM performance and finally I have shown some major bugs with my final verdicts. So without wasting any time, let's get started. On the new adventure. Let's start with the flashing. If you are already on the Pixel OS 13, then just download the ROM zip file. But if you are coming from the different custom ROMs, then you need the ROM zip boot image vendor underscore boot image files to flash. Detailed instruction for the flashing from the different custom ROM is given under the video description. If you want to flash this whole stock Oxone OS 13 firmware, then please check another video link available in the video description. Here I am just flashing this update over Pixel OS 13, so I will just boot to the Pixel OS stock recovery using Fastboot. Or you can use the advanced reboot menu or adb commands to directly boot into the pixel or stock recovery. Now connect phone to the PC in a recovery, tap adb side load, open cmd window where you place the rom zip file in the PC and flash the rom via adb side load command. I will not show the PC command flashing here again, you can refer another flashing video link. It's available under the video description. Flashing of ROM get starts. Once it gets completed, you will get this notification in the recovery asking to flash additional files. Just ignore by tapping no. Now on the home screen of the recovery, tap reboot the system. Here we did not need to wipe anything so all our data will remain safe. But if you are coming from another custom ROM or the stock Oxygen OS, you need to wipe your data. Phone started to boot into the Metro U themed pixel boot animation. So phone booted to the brand new Google's Android 14 code name upside down cake. Everything was intact, all my applications and data are safe. So if you now check the about phone details, our Android version is now 14. Here Google changed the look of their easter egg. After tapping Android version, we get this new Android 14 logo. If we press and hold this icon, you will see your own spaceship that appears in its location. It's like a space war type game which looks cool. Security patch is updated straight to November 2023. The default kernel of this ROM is Ghetto kernel which is updated to the 5.4.254. Last build was on 250. So as usual new build has all the new AOSP source code of Android 14 for best performance, features and stability. One thing I noticed is that the ROM now comes with the latest new OpenGL driver version 3.2 at the rate 530.50. Now I will not waste the time to show what's working in the ROM. It's super stable, everything is working in this new Android 14 based Pixel OS. But there are some flaws that we'll discuss under the bug section of the video. Now let's check out what's the new amazing things Google has implemented in the new Android 14 and are they really working in the Pixel OS or not. First new addition of Android 14 is the 6 digit password setting. In the previous version it was restricted to 3 digits. We also get the auto confirm settings so no need to tap arrow key after typing the password to unlock the phone. It will automatically get unlocked after typing the password. But be cautious someone reported me he got some issues in the Pixel OS after using this feature. Next under the wallpapers and style section we get lots of new funky lock screen clocks. This is just a kind of custom ROM customization addition by Google. Some clocks really looks nice, here you can check them out. If there are lots of notifications on the lock screen, clock will shrink to the top of the screen. Once all notifications get dismissed, you will get the full screen look of the new lock screen clock. 
This clock also looks very nice on always on display. Next addition of Android 14 is new AI generated wallpapers. You get some presets of wallpapers. Here you can change the aspects of wallpaper and then tap create wallpaper and you will get the AI generated wallpaper on the basis of your interest. Instead of this, we also get the new emoji wallpapers. We can able to add any types of icons or emojis and can change their pattern and colors. Once you apply this wallpaper, you get the amazing animations of emojis while scrolling home screen and after unlocking the phone. In the Android 14, Google has added the new magnification gestures under the accessibility settings. You can enable the magnification gestures by pressing the volume up down keys or by just swapping the two fingers up on the nav bar. At the right bottom corner, you get the gear icon setting to choose the magnification size and the magnification zoom setting. So now magnification gestures are more productive not only for disabled person but also for all of us. To disable the gesture, just swipe down the two fingers below the navigation bar. Next, Google has added the new linear font style quick setting card in the QS panel. So we can easily change the fonts of the device on the go. Under the accessibility setting, now we get the another customization feature similar to the custom ROM called as flashlight notification. Here we can able to enable the camera flash as a flashlight or the screen flash. It works as a notification indicator for any kind of notification who gets on the device. But I especially like the screen flash which has different color option to choose and it looks cool. In the Android 14, Google has added the new monochrome theme for overall system. Actually, this is a part of digital well-being application of the Google. But you can enable this at any time by just enabling the bedtime QS panel tile under the quick setting panel. This is really helpful for the using mobile during night time as compared to the night light filter and this will also help to save more battery. So we seen all the major features of the new Android 14 and all are available in the Pixel OS and working great. Now it's time to tell you the performance of the ROM. In single word Pixel OS optimizations with the Android 14 is just flying like a butter on the fingertips. I am in just love with this 9RT after using the Pixel OS Android 14. In terms of numerical results, I got the highest result till the date. Here you can check single core and multi core results were 1468 and 3543 respectively, which are way higher than the OnePlus 9RT with the Oxygen OS. Similarly, both the OpenGL and Hulkan graphics scores are also amazingly higher, so it will definitely give the better impact on the gaming of the device with the newer drivers. We will see the gaming performance in the another video, so stay tuned to our channel. So we have seen all the good good things until now, let's check out what are the issues or the bugs I faced until now from last 7 days. First bug I was found in this ROM is that if you are using the screencast sharing on the Android TV then you will get the lags on another device where you are casting the screen and it lags frequently. The next big issue I faced is the heavy battery drain. Actually, we don't have to worry about this because this issue is only faced by some users including me. But if you are clean flashing the ROM, then I can definitely say you, you may not going to face this. This one is my battery cycle from the 90 to 30 percent of drain where I got just 8 hours of total uses, screen on time was just 2 and a half hours, deep sleep battery drain was 40 percent per hour. All these things was crazy for me but as now days are going, I am getting somewhat better battery result but still they are not best as compared to the Android 13 best Pixel OS. I have another solution to solve the such battery drain issue for that I will create the another separate video soon. Except these major bugs, one minor bug I face ray is text issues for the monochrome themes. Sometimes text in some application can't be visible if you are using the monochrome theme. Except these things, nothing to worry, all the Pixel OS features are already available in the ROM. After solving the battery issue, I can definitely say you can go with this gem. It's my favorite custom ROM till the date which is based on the facts, not just on the basis of myths. Android 14 has done massive improvement in the department of optimizations and looks with the addition of custom ROM like features. Soon after one week, I will try to upload regular videos for all of you. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. 
subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye